In our gulp file, we require all the necessary stuff. Gulp, Connect, which we use for hosting a server with auto reload, Traceur, our ES6 transpiler, and Gulp Ruby SAS, which we use to compile our SAS to CSS. Let's increase the font size a bit. That's better. We start by setting up a task for hosting our web server with auto reload. We call this task connect and give it a function. In the function, we call the server method on connect with the live reload option set to true. And for our port, we've decided on 8005. Sweet, let's define our default task now. Instead of giving it a task function, we give it an array of other tasks that it should execute. For the moment, we only call the connect function. Back in terminal, we execute the gulp command. And when we hit the correct port on localhost, we see that it loaded our HTML file.